Sorry, Juliet, but the park's closed. Look, there's a sign from the mayor, Mr. Dumbass. <laughs> I love it, I love it. I can't wait to show you guys. And if you want to turn it up and have max power, oh. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, where am I up to? It is approaching now half past three. The sun is glorious, it's a lovely day, and the panel, both panels have been just nicely baking in the sun. They're nice and warm. I have been sanding down with just a thousand grit both panels, setting up the paint booth in the infinity paint booth. I know it's not ideal, but I got it better get a move on. I want this box stuff today. Let's get cracking. Whoa. Almost. Almost. Whoa. How did that go, Wimpy? You know, the orange peel effect that you would best describe, like when you get that strange texture in the paint, that doesn't quite cut it. Maybe the basketball leather effect? I don't know how's best to describe it apart from bloody awful. Uh, looks like we might have to go back to the drawing board and that is definitely enough painting outside for one day. I think for, I need, I'm going to have to go back to the drawing board. That's what I'm going to do. Positive points. I've put a good layer on it. Um, what else? There's loads of things I could have done, but best way to learn is by just having a go, getting it wrong, but never giving up. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. The wimpy way. Keep on trying until it get it right. Now I've got. I really have to do high hand, high standards to get this right, and I think I'm going to have to go micro paint booth. Yeah, as in paint booth, micro paint booth. So I'm not going to attempt any more disasters like this. I will see you tomorrow. Where is this goddamn light switch? Voila! Yeah, I'm out here, it's, uh, it's just gone sort of half past nine. And, uh, yeah, little JG's just got herself off to sleep. So, uh, tomorrow I'm hoping to get, I'll see, uh, little culprits all painted in and finished. Obviously where I left off was uh, after painting them outside and making a miserable effort on the bumper. Obviously I thought that I'd go for the micro paint booth inside the Wimpy Cabana. And that's 
What's going on here? So I've been putting up this sort of just plastic sheeting. Oh, I only had one big one, this big black one. So I put this up on one side. That I've got more, loads more of this plastic, green plastic sheeting just to sort of cover up here and behind me here and the old beat box. But I say the biggest issue that I had when trying to paint it outside was obviously the temperature. And I believe this should help me out. It's got a few different settings. It starts at 650, program one, two, 1350. Ooh, and if you want to turn it up and have max power, oh, you can wang it up till 2000 watts. Now I can feel the heat kicking out of that bad boy already. So you can kind of get the game plan that's coming on here. Floor, all the walls, not too bothered about the ceiling. All completely wrapped, all completely protected. Uh, completely, well, I feel, uh, do you know what it feel like putting up that wrapping? I felt like Dexter for a minute. I was like, this one, he used to do this all the time. What a chore. Like, and he did it properly, not like, uh, like he wouldn't be able to just leave that. Not Dexter, he wouldn't do that. He wouldn't leave like little bits like that. Like he wouldn't leave that. Wimpy Caban, fit for a serial killer. Right. Don't think I'd make a good serial killer anyway. <laughs> okay, that is enough for tonight. So I'm gonna say bonsoir for now, and I'll see you guys in the morning with a coffee. How's that? See you guys then. Bonne nuit. Good morning. It's been a lovely morning, although a rather frosty one. Started off minus two this morning. Yeah, the car was completely frosted over, everything iced over. But the, since the sun's come out, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. Church bells ringing, birds are singing. Beautiful. And the coffee's good too. So obviously last night I finished up my preparations and since then I've just been uh, washing over and prepping again the panels basically just looking for any again that sort of uh, orange peel effect just giving them a little quick sand over and again washing it down degreased so this panel has been degreased I will do it again when it comes to crunch time and in the caban now obviously you can see the first panel in here ready to go now the idea is this afternoon once the temperature gets to or sort of the day is at its peak temperature I'm going to put the heater on maybe a couple of hours before making sure the panel's nice and ready the paint's nice and ready to mix the guns all prepped I've, I've got the oh I didn't mention that last night which is definitely a game changer is the paint as well I went to go and buy some more paint obviously because I'd put that much I'd sprayed that much on the front bumper in the first place I didn't have enough to obviously then do it again so I went instead of ordering it online like I did last time I actually went to my local paint shop where I saw my mate that works there he asked me to show him a photo of the Wimperstang and yeah he was like to be honest I think that's not a color varnish I think that's a straight up uh, shine sort of paint out of the gun now I'm sorry if those terms aren't correct because I only know only know it as a brillant peinture, which is obviously the French because I only got into this stuff since moving out here. So that is a big game changer because obviously now I just need to throw down a few layers of that and all the shine and everything takes care of itself. Well, that's the theory anyway. Rouge peinture. Lovely. I'll see you guys when we're up to temperature. The paint gun is loaded and yeah I'm ready to start throwing down this brilliant banjur. I'll catch you guys then.
so I'm back out here at the scene of the crime. Mm, get the old black blood spat or paint spatter experts in. I didn't send the bumper obviously uh, yesterday because I thought one, I was a bit stuck on time, and two, I just wanted to leave the panel there uh, too dry, not moving it. It's dried off really nicely. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to see how the wimpy caban and reflect on how the wimpy uh, mini micro paint booth worked out. And actually, I think it did. <laughs> well, I suppose the proof in the pudding is that what they say? Is to have a look at how the panel turned out. Now, I kind of was, I was like, I'll don't put it back on the car. Wait, maybe another 24 hours to put it back on the car. But being, being impatient, wimpy as I am, I thought I'd just wang it on. I wanted to see, and that's one of the other reasons why I didn't obviously send the bumper yesterday was I wanted to check on the paint match. And yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy. Have a look. Yeah, it's not without uh, without its blemishes or its trash that's in the paint. There's, to be fair, the, the trash in the paint is it's not too bad actually. The tr the problems I had is at my starting points, and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, it's is at my starting point. So I'm thinking where the gun was. Obviously, I was bringing the gun in or spraying the initial paint on, perhaps between coats. Obviously, maybe there was a buildup of moisture, or maybe uh, I'm not sure something in the paint. I'm looking at this for the first time. Obviously, using the paint, the compressor gun scenario, and thinking what could that be. I will take. I will retouch those. I, I can't leave it like that. Food for thought. Lessons learned. Moving on to the next one. So I'm gonna get prepped up. Get me all shoes get me old boiler suit on and yeah hopefully once the temperature's right I'm gonna be laying down some more race red and do it Whoa. okay so it's up to temperature yeah the guns loaded I've got seriously dry mouth because I am feeling a bit nervous about this yeah it's not easy to paint that bumper yeah definitely not got much space in there either but like I say don't know don't try don't if you don't try, you don't know. Yeah. Right, I'm going to get the old gas hose connected up, do a couple of quick sprays on my cardboard thing, and hopefully uh, I'll report back to you with some good news. Let's do it. Yeah, that was the last pass, number three, and I really kind of, uh, I need the new mask or a new face, one of the others. Yeah, on that last pass, I really started to feel the flow of the actual bumper and, and get it right where I wanted it to go. Probably a bit the same. I kind of had been tweaking the gun a little bit and I kind of got the, I think I'd got it just about right. I was struggling with the first couple of passes, but on that third one, I really thought, yeah. But I think I got a really good layer down. I think it looks good. It's hard because the light's not great in there. I'm gonna get my old phone out and have a good little walk around and see if maybe it needs any more. But fingers crossed, that'll be the last one. I'm gonna have a quick buzz around. I'll take you with me. Let's have a look. Good morning and welcome to what is an almost sunny day. It was sunny a minute ago, I promise. 
Hence why I got my shades on. I'm dying to show you something. What? I just cheekily put it on the front of the car. Mm. So the car finally has its identity back. It seems to have like finally have its face back and it's, I love it. I love it. I can't wait to show you guys. Come and have a look at this car. Wimper stain. Damn. You know what they say, best way to learn is by just having a go, getting it wrong, but never giving up. And we kind of got it right in the end. I'd say what I was hoping to achieve is what we achieved in the end. 80% is what I was kind of hoping for, anything 80 or above. And to be honest, the bumper was way better than I was, I was expecting. And the wing, right, first chance I got, I was back out there because obviously I wanted to get rid of those imperfections. And that's exactly what I did. The next clear day, I was back out there whipping that wing off. I basically just took a layer of paint off, cut the com wing completely, obviously sanding down all the imperfections until it was completely clean. Then back into the wimpy caban, one nice clean layer of paint, left it in there to bake, and yet it came out brilliantly, really pleased. All the imperfections were gone, and a few bits of trash which were to be expected. But yeah, both panels now looking great. And like I say, I'm really pleased with how it turned out. Yeah, nice to see the wimpy cabans all back to normal as well. Obviously had to get rid of the evidence, you know, before, you know, the spatter analysis came in. Adit was like, Al, oh, do you think you took the Dexter thing a bit far? <laughs> right. I was like, no, don't be silly. He was a stand up guy, apart from the the killing bit. I mean, look, he was a good worker. He was very well organised. He could keep a secret. <laughs> All being said, I would love to fill that cabinet up with all the paint jobs that I managed to get done in here. Hopefully, fingers crossed, that's the first of many. So coming up in the next episode, well, we're gonna have to put it all, all the front together, I suppose. I can't wait for that. I hope you can't either. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. And if you have, smash that like button, join the Wimpy Brotherhood, hit that subscribe. And if you don't wanna miss out on the next videos coming out, hit that ring-a-ding-a-ling, turn your post notifications on. I've been Wimpy, you've been awesome for watching, thank you so much, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Laters. Well there's a Wimpy top tip for you. You don't want to get paint gun cleaner in your eye. Wow, pain, like splash, instant, wow, fire. I think it's gonna look like I've got stink eye for about a week. It was just paint, it was just paint. No need for DNA testing, all right? Okay, just pretend. <laughs>